hello guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how to change this column names so I have a I misspelled annual fee here so it's supposed to be with double N so that's what I'm going to try to change all right let's start by using my database so this table it's called services which is here under my big bank hundred database so I'm going to use my big bank handred database and then I'm going to use this statement execute and then in SQL Server you have to rename by using this SP underscore rename statement and then here is the tricky part so you open single quotes and you have to mention your table so my table in this case is called services and then I'm gonna type dot and then I'm gonna mention the annual fee which is the column name that I want to change so annual fee then comma and I'm gonna give it a new name so I'm going to open single quotes again and I'm gonna give it the right name so annual with double in fee all right that's pretty much it let's just select this and run it and make sure that this column name is going to change so let's just execute this and it says that caution uh, pretty much if you change this name make sure that all your queries that you already had with this annual fee they're not going to execute anymore so you gotta be really careful about that so if you have this error at the beginning just try to change it as soon as possible all right let's just execute this statement so we can see if the tables changed so we have the service ID service name and annual fee now we have the annual fee uh, with double N so that's pretty much the way you change the column names so make sure uh, when you're designing the database that uh, you realize that you did it in the right way because if you want to change this way later that's gonna be a big issue so in this case I noticed this problem at the beginning so that was pretty much really easy to change and it's not going to affect the other um, queries that, are, that I already had so uh, I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video